Welcome back everybody, it's Michael Alder from CarpetTools.com. We just finished installing a sheet vinyl flooring. Now we're going to transition from the sheet vinyl to the existing hardwood floors. So I figured I'd shoot a quick video, show you a, a quick trick, quick hack, so you can go ahead and get this installed if you wanted to do it yourself. So check this out. Now I, I shared in another video that this place was uh, just a cheap rental property. The owner doesn't want to put much money into it, so we actually went over the existing vinyl floor just to dress it up with this new floor. And uh, we're going to go ahead and finish to the hardwood now. So you can see the old vinyl floor under here, and I'm going to trace to that just so there's no existing bumps exposed or anything. So I'm going to use my hook knife. I'm going to crease to the side there so I get a nice clean cut over here. And then I'm going to trace the existing floor under that. And the beauty about this, your cut doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be using an inch and a quarter metal to uh, make the finished transition on this one. So now we got our flat metal and you can find these at Lowe's, Home Depot, any home improvement store will carry them. Have a set of 10 snips. I'm going to line the metal up to the walls here and cut so it'll run snug along the walls. I'm going to cut it a little bit hefty so we're going to shave a little more off the edge. I'm going to line in the metal up so it sits uh, the cut piece of vinyl is going to sit halfway in between the metal here. And we're just using the nails that come with it. And pounding them in. And that's going to be the finished edge. So pretty basic, pretty simple. But if this is your first time doing it, just use this video as a guide. And that's it. I mean, get a close up on this here. It just goes wall to wall. And that's your finished edge. So let's go ahead and do another one together. We might as well hammer out two for one, right? So this doorway is a little bit smaller over here. There's the other exit from the kitchen. Set that up so you can see it better. And grab my tools. So we got a knife. We're gonna cut to the existing floor again. Like I said, you don't have to have your cut perfect because you have an inch and a quarter of the metal to help hide anything you did under there. So line it up to the walls again. Now a professional will be measuring that, but we're not doing that. We're gonna do a hex style. our nails just set it in so yeah like I said pretty basic pretty simple easy to follow let's go ahead and use this video for your guide and be sure to subscribe we got countless videos coming out every angle on the flooring business how to do installs on your own be a DIY guy save some money cut out the middle main you don't have to deal with your hillbilly carpet guy Go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to show you all the ins and outs. And thank you for tuning in.